I've been in the job for 21 days and I thought to myself, maybe I just have to redeem myself to check if I need to continue and if, if the buyer is still happy with the product. So I'm sharing with yourselves uh, what we've been doing in the past uh, 21 days. I'll kick off just by sharing with yourselves what I've uh, observed in the organization and also sharing with you uh, some of the actions I've taken so far. Uh, I believe that business deals with its uh, headwinds uh, and that in itself makes it it's a determiner of its future success. And most importantly, uh, it also assures us of uh, sustainability. When looking at these results, we're talking about numbers of the previous year. But it will also help to give comfort in terms of where are we as an organization and if there's any reason to worry uh, moving forward as an organization. The results will reveal how we are positioning ourselves to emerge from the current challenges and also sharing with you how we are planning to move uh, towards the future. Our Honorable Minister and the shareholder representative, uh, Ms. Lynn Brown, uh, on my appointment, she handed me and the board an unambiguous focal areas, uh, which included, amongst others, uh, leadership cohesion within ESCOM. Uh, she also emphasized on contract management. She highlighted her concerns around coal procurement and the conflict of interest. She expects nothing else but unvarnished appraisals and performance across all the stated areas. I must also highlight the fact that the board's own focal areas, by and large, reinforces these areas that the minister has highlighted. My commitment is without any shadow of doubt, uh, and to this end, with all the requisite support that I've received, I can comfortably state that I will strive to meet those expectations uh, with our shareholder representative. In a few meetings that I've had with the team in the past three weeks, I've had no less than five executive committee meetings. And the request I've made to EXCO is that there'll be no decisions that will be taken outside the executive committee meetings, which means that whatever decision is taken, it will be a decision that is documented and we've applied our minds on it. There'll be no decisions that are taken in some corners or by individuals without having been debated and decided on by the executive committee. I have hammered on the areas that the minister has shared that there'll be total focus on macro governance. This is now across uh, ESCOM operations. The issue around the declaration of interest, which links to governance and ethics. The conflict of interest, if not expressed, what are the consequences? the perceived corruption and other pertinent issues uh, which we mean to improve and will also help in our overall performance. I have, in the three weeks, uh, already engaged also with uh, the guardians, the ESCOM guardians. I've had three sessions uh, in, uh, from the nine provinces uh, and I've expressed the same commitment, and I've also asked them as to what it is that they expect of us. Uh, and I will continue engaging uh, with organized labor uh, and continuing also to engage with the organized the business uh, leaders. Uh, I have already spoken to quite a few of the, of the uh, organized labor uh, leadership. Uh, we had the suppliers uh, yesterday uh, with us. This is also in sharing with, with them 
our expectation. Uh, tomorrow I will be meeting with the electricity intensive user group. You may be asking yourself, why is he sharing all of these? It is my belief that unless I have a commitment within ESCOM, there's no point in rushing out and raising all sorts of expectations when I've got a limping uh, a staff force. And that came as a result of a number of issues. Uh, we had almost a month uh, without a CEO. That didn't mean that the business wasn't running. However, it does raise a lot of uncertainties and a lot of, of questions. And it is for me to reassure them of the commitments that this organization has, uh, not only to ESCOM, but to the country as a whole. <laughs>